How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sanwoo and in today's video we are gonna recreate some classic drum patterns like this and this and this and we're gonna do all this using the OP1. As you may already know, the OP1 features quite a few different sequencer types, but for today's video, we are gonna focus on the finger sequencer because it doesn't only look good, but it's also very useful for making different drum patterns and combining them. First I'll do a real quick rundown of how the finger sequencer works. The finger sequencer can store different patterns on either of the white keys here like this or this. And as you can see there are two monkeys playing the drums. That means you can play two different patterns at the same time. Now there are different modes of operation. Right now I have join selected. That means that if I press two patterns they will play at the same time. The replace mode means that I can play one pattern, then I press the key of another pattern and it will switch to the second pattern as soon as the first pattern has finished playing. Just like this. The fill-in mode works as follows. We play the first pattern and as soon as we play a second pattern the first one will stop. The second pattern will then play for one whole cycle and then it switches back to the first pattern which will continue playing from where it left off in the first place. Now to the other functions. The orange encoder turns on the hold function, that means I only have to press the key once and my pattern keeps playing. Then we have the white encoder, which makes our sequence longer or shorter. And with the green encoder we can adjust the swing value. And the blue encoder with which we can navigate through our steps or erase our steps. And for the rest of the functions we are using the shift button down here as well as the arrow keys and our keyboard. And now let's get to our first drum pattern. We are gonna start with Public Enemies Night of the Living Bass Heads. It is. Bam. In your face. First of all we're gonna make sure that our sequence is deleted, put the cursor to the beginning and then I will turn the white encoder to make sure that we are using the full length of 32 steps. A maximum of 32 steps means that if we are using 16th notes we can get up to two bars of drum sequencing. The notation for this beat should be up here. I've taken that from the book The Breakbeat Bible by Mike Adamo. I can really recommend the book if you want to learn more about breakbeats and playing drums and programming drums. It's really useful. I bought it first when I got into finger drumming on the MPC. So yeah, check it out if you're interested in that. And now let me quickly explain how the notation works. The F note at the bottom is a kick drum. If it has brackets around it that means it's a ghost note. The X on top those are hi-hats and the note in between that's a snare drum. And now let's try to recreate the beat. And we're starting with a kick drum and a hi-hat which is an eighth note and since each of the squares here represents a sixteenth note we gotta leave one empty move to the next one which is a hi-hat. Again an eighth note so we leave one empty. Now a hi-hat and a snare. Again one empty. And now we've got a ghosted kick drum so I'm gonna use this kick drum up here and a hi-hat. Which this time is a sixteenth note. So we don't leave a gap for the next note which is just a kick drum which again was a 16th note, so now we don't leave a gap either and put a hi-hat down, which again is a 16th note, so we are gonna put a kick drum down, which is also a 16th note, so no gap, and now we put down a kick drum and a hi-hat, which again is an 8th note, so we leave a gap, snare drum hi-hat, 8th note, gap, 
ghosted kick drum hi-hat 16th no gap kick drum 16th no gap and we are starting the next bar with a hi-hat eighth note gap hi-hat kick drum eighth note gap snare drum hi-hat eighth note gap hi-hat 16th kick drum 16th kick drum hi-hat 16th kick drum kick drum hi-hat kick drum snare drum hi-hat kick drum kick drum hi-hat all right that's the loop done let's have a listen Okay, first sequence done, and the next drum groove is Spotty Oddy Dopalicious by Outcast. This one contains a lot of 16th hi hats, so let's recreate this one. Kick hi hat, hi hat, kick hi hat, hi hat, hi hat, rim. Oh, we're gonna use this one. Hi hat, hi hat, kick hi hat, kick hi hat, hi hat, kick hi hat, hi hat, hi hat rim hi-hat hi-hat open hi-hat closed kick drum hi-hat hi-hat kick drum hi-hat hi-hat hat and snare or rim hi-hat hi-hat kick hi-hat kick hi-hat hi-hat kick hi-hat hi-hat rim hi-hat hi-hat oh this one i might not be able to recreate yeah hi-hat rim Yep, there was one note that was too fast for the sequencer, a 30 second note or whatever you would call that. So I had to drop that one. But otherwise, this is the sequence. Let's quickly adjust the BPM to fit the original tempo and add some swing. Another groove done, let's move on to the next. And for this one, we are going to recreate one of the most famous drum breaks out there, Impeach the President by the Honey Drippers. And for this one, we only need 16 steps. We are going to start. Kick drum hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, snare drum hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat kick drum, no gap, hi-hat kick drum, gap, and open hi-hat kick drum gap closed hi-hat snare drum gap hi-hat kick drum and again we're going to adjust the tempo to match the original and have a listen And I think most of you have heard this drum groove before. It is very famous for a reason. Although it's just such a short drum groove, I think it works very well, especially in a hip hop context. And yeah, it just has a lot of groove, I would say. And the next drum groove is from the song Don't Say Nothing by The Roots. Hi-hat kick, gap, hi-hat, gap, snare, hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, Kick hi-hat, gap, snare hi-hat, no gap, kick drum, hi-hat, gap, kick drum hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, snare drum hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, snare drum hi-hat, no gap, kick drum, hi-hat. And as you can tell, all of these drum groups are quite simple. There's no magic fairy dust to it. It's really just what it is, a basic, nice drum groove. And the last one is Footprints by A Tribe Called Quest. Can I get a level on the bass and on the treble? Kick drum, hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, snare drum, gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat. Kick drum, open hi-hat, gap, Snare drum, closed hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat. Kick drum, hi-hat, gap, hi-hat, gap, snare drum, gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat, no gap, hi-hat, no gap. Kick drum, open hi-hat, gap, closed hi-hat, and snare drum, gap, hi-hat, hi-hat. We adjust the BPM.
And this is how easily you can recreate drum grooves on the OP1's finger sequencer. Of course there are many other ways on the OP1 to recreate these grooves and there are many other ways to use the finger sequencer itself. For example having sequences that only contain kick drums and snare drums and other sequences that contain only hi-hats and percussion and combining different ones with one another. But I think that's something to look into in a future video and to make sure you don't miss that future video make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and maybe in the meantime watch the video over there for more helpful tips and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful time. Peace.